Hello. First, I want to thank you for your interest in our channel. This video's purpose is to give you some insight into the type of writing that I do. The primary focus of my cosmology, that's the, the world that I use when I do my writing, is on an alternate timeline or an alternate history. Specifically, it's an alternate Appalachian mythology. So I guess we should start by answering like, what is <clears throat> alternate Appalachian mythology? The way that I see it is it's kind of like a collection of stories, especially any stories that are dealing with alternate history or even an alternate future of the people of Appalachia or the characters of Appalachia. It also explains uh, like natural or social phenomenon that we might encounter therein. Typically it involves supernatural beings or events, although sometimes sparingly, sometimes more overtly. Speculative fiction and magical realism, those are the core forces behind uh, the goal of creating this mythology for Appalachia. So therefore, it's, it's a world where the main characters in one tale might very well appear as background characters in another tale. So where are my key locations? Well, the key location is Earth, of course. That's right, anywhere. I don't really want to limit myself, so I'm saying like anywhere here or, or even out there, for example, on the moon. Anything to do with our everyday lives. And we see the moon at night, so it's part of our world. Anyway, yes, uh, there are some recurring spots that are closer to home. Uh, West Sylvania, that's the, that's the new states, uh, the new state that I've created. Uh, the reader may not be familiar with that, uh, but there will be places, especially if you're in Appalachia, that you've probably heard of. Uh, Kanawha, for example. But people might not have heard of Vandalia. Anyway. Uh, there's also a small town. It's a village, really. And it's, in my world, kind of in the what, what we know as the southwestern part of Pennsylvania today. I call this village <coughs> the Purity Gulch, or Twilight Gulch. Anyway, uh, that's where the Chambers Farm uh, lies, and that's that appears significantly in a couple of tales. Uh, there are some key areas in the state we know we know of as uh, West Virginia. It runs from uh, Parkersburg, that's along the Ohio River, and it runs deep into the interior through uh, what we know as Grantsville, that's in Calhoun County, through a small place above that, uh, Burnt House, and that's in Ritchie County. And then it runs eastward to uh, Weston, and in Weston, in my world, there's an abandoned hospital out that way. There's also, of course, the Fey Realm, which is an, it's, it's a, a dimension beyond our sight and sound, and it kind of lays like a blanket over our world. It's part of us, but we just can't see it. It's just beyond our periphery, and it, it's walking alongside us. It breathes our air, it would seem. Anyway, beings that are just out of reach, uh, they watch us, they're forever, forever curious about our world, and yes, uh, they long to be here. Uh, some of them want to come here and live here, they want to interact with this world, and this type of behavior, it, it can breed uh, jealousy and contempt. There's also excursions into Earth's past, far into prehistory and to civilizations that have risen and over time have fallen. Uh, some literally fallen deep into the ground below our feet. Uh, if we do some digging sometime, you know, we might uncover some things that will surprise us. But anyway, I could go on, but uh, that should be enough uh, to whet the appetite somewhat. 